Hi everyone and welcome back! Today I'm going to play with new products from the latest release by my favorite things. There are many stamps, dyes and stencils to choose from this month. They are all adorable just like always. In every release it makes it really difficult to choose a favorite. So today I'm going to play with stamps perfect for the holidays and I'm starting out with this one. This is called Loads of Joy. There are trucks or trains which are full of uh, gifts and there are lovely creatures that are driving them, such as penguins, snowmen, reindeers and there is also a um, Santa that you can use as well as some trees that you can work with to create your uh, scenes. I am going to create a little scene on my card and I'm going with one of the trucks which is loaded with um, gifts and a little snowman is driving that, but I don't want my snowman to be alone, so I'm going to give him some company, that's why I'm going to stamp the little reindeer as well, and the trees. For all of these images there are matching dyes available, which I'm going to use later on. For now I'm going to do my coloring. For coloring all my images I'm going to use my alcohol markers and I'm using my Triblend brush markers. I did do a swatch on all the colors that I have as well as some uh, quick review on them. But today I'm going to uh, use them and you can see them in action. So here I'm using the dark reds for coloring the track. If you are wondering, I'm working on Nina Solar White cardstock. This is the 80 pounds cardstock. And I am starting by laying the lightest color all over the track. This way I make sure that everything is nicely saturated, the paper is nice and wet, and now I'm going to go from darker all the way to lighter. You will see that they blend nicely. I love the nib. It's uh, nice and soft, very juicy, and it makes blending really easy. One thing you need to keep in mind is that brass is not very thin, which means that it is quite difficult to go to very small areas. For that you can either use other markers that uh, you may have, that have a very fine tip. I do have the other three blends which make my life easier. But uh, of course you can use your pencils for very tiny areas. Here I'm doing very quick coloring. I'm not going to switch to any other coloring medium. I'm just going to use the three blends. And uh, you may notice that sometimes I go outside of the lens just because I'm doing uh, very quickly and I'm not very careful. However, this is not a problem for me. I will use my dies to cut them out. And if I have a little bit of color on the white border that the die leaves, then I can use my gel pen marker, my white gel pen, and cover it up. No one will ever know. So I used the dark red to color the track, then I used the cool grays for coloring the wheels, as well as some different details on the track. And for the gifts I played with greens, blues and yellows. Now with the magic of video editing you will see all the images colored and ready to go. I don't like to introduce many new colors on my images, so you might notice that I repeat the same colors for the trees as well as for coloring the reindeer. I used the matching dyes to cut them out and I did cut out with some of the slope dyes that I have in my stash a couple of uh, pieces that I can stack one on top of the other. The one in the front has some foam tape at the back while the back one is completely flat with uh, glue directly on top of my blue cardstock. So now I have my uh, slopes of uh, snow, I do have my sky and uh, I decided to um, put that reindeer on top of the truck. So the snowman is driving the car while uh, the reindeer is handing out the gifts. I am going to use some foam tape at the back and stick it on top of my little scene. And to complete the scene I'm going to stick down the trees. The trees are going uh, completely flat at the back and for that I used my Nouveau Deluxe glue. And I think this is a lovely detail that uh, really completes the whole scene. Now all I need to do is to stamp the sentiment. I used one of the sentiments from the same stamp set. It reads Christmas cheer is on the way and I stamped that with uh, black ink. And finally I'm going to stick this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. 
And the only thing that's missing now is falling snow. There are many different ways to add snow on your little scenes. You can go with a stencil and embossing paste. You can use your uh, brush and create white splashes. I decided to go for this card with my Nouveau Drops. Here are some close-up photos on a card that I absolutely love because it combines two of my favorite things. First of all, it is a Christmas card and uh, Christmas themed cards are my favorite. Plus, it has a lovely scene on top. Now let's create another card perfect for holidays. This time I'm not going for a scene. So I'm going to use three of the snowmen from this adorable stamp set. This is called Present Time. It comes with five different snowmen in different positions, smaller or bigger, and they are holding presents or stockings. You also get four different sentiments to work with for your projects as well as a couple of trees in different sizes so you can easily use this stamp set to create scenes if you like for this card i'm going for a completely different design i chose three of the snowmen and i'm going to stamp them with black ink and i'm going to color them with my tree blends these are again my alcohol markers the marker i'm using here is true blue and i used the lightest one to add some shading once I apply a touch of that blue, I then go over it with a colorless blender just to smooth it out and uh, fade it out just a little bit. Coloring the snowman is really easy. I'm just uh, adding some shadows where I feel they should go and then blend it out. Remember, I prefer doing quick coloring and I think that at the end, just because the images are super adorable, they look always nice. So here I'm going with my colorless blender and I have this one by Spectrum Noir, but any brand would work just fine. For the Christmas stocking, I'm going to go with a dark red. And to bring all those different images together, I'm going to add the same color on all three of the snowmen. So the one that with the stocking is going to hold a red and white stocking. The other two are going to have red scarves, again using the same marker. And I'm going to add green for the gift as well as for the big bag of gifts. So you see how easy it is to add the shading here. I don't have to look through my drawer of markers to find something that matches. For the white areas, I'm going to add that shadow with cool gray. For the nose, I'm going with orange, but just because this is such a tiny area, I brought out my other tree blends in the black barrel just because they have the smaller nib. I'm going to put on some music and let you see how I did all the coloring, and then I'll catch you back once I have cut out all the images. Notice that I did use my white gel pen to go over the areas that I have went outside of the lines. No one will ever know if your coloring is not perfect. I am using the matching dies to cut them out, securing them down with some washi tape. And I decided to go with a green panel as my background. For that, just because I don't want that to be super plain, I'm going to use this lined by hand 
background stamp. This is from uh, my favorite things from a previous release. It's going to give a very subtle look since I'm going green over green, just a slight uh, darker than the actual uh, cardstock. Now notice that I did place my cardstock kind of uh, on an angle inside my misty just because I didn't want to have those lines vertically or horizontally. I wanted them to be on a diagonal. This didn't stamp the whole panel so I had some empty corners but I am using the same dark uh, green ink to add some inking all around. So this is going to completely cover up any empty spaces. Now the stamping is really subtle but you will be able to see that on the finished photos. By adding some darker border all around it kind of draws the eye at the center and it makes it look as if it is glowing. This is the Merry Dye from the latest release and I did cut it out from glitter gold glitter cardstock and I used the same glitter gold cardstock to uh, act as a mat for my green panel so I'm going to stick that there and the Merry at the center. This is a lovely card design as it is. You can embellish it if you like with holly berries that you can cut out. I decided to use the snowman that I'm going to nest all around. I do have foam tape at the back so they are a little bit raised and I'm going to add them as if they are nested somehow in between the letters. And as a finishing touch I did add some gold gems all around the card. Now in the close-up photos you can see that very subtle stamping at the background with the lines. So these were the projects for today, using products from the latest release by my favorite things. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Just like always you will find links to everything I used down below in the description area. Don't forget to like and to leave me a comment. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today and until next time, stay safe. Thank you.